Now it's my pleasure to welcome to the stage the Chairman and President of the Enchanted Kingdom in the Philippines and your 2014 Chairman of the Board, Mario Limon. Good morning and welcome. 2014 has been an incredible year for our industry and our association. It has been my privilege to serve as your chairman, and together we accomplished a great deal. Let me highlight just three areas of particular importance. First, we rolled out the association's new governance program. It was several years in the making, but I'm confident that we now have the global structure in place to effectively manage the association for many years to come. As part of the reorganization, we formally established a North American strategy. We created a North American Regional Advisory Committee, hired our first Vice President of North American Operations, Richard Jackson, and opened a regional office here in Orlando. Now we can more directly understand the unique needs of our members in the United States and Canada and develop programs and services to help them grow their businesses. Second, we focus further on our top priority, safety. We held safety standards harmonization meetings around the world and increased member participation in our ride safety reporting program. We facilitated safety-related meetings with government officials and we shared best practice learning through IAPA Safety Institute programs in six countries. Our work in the area of safety will never be complete. We are always focused on developing new programs to continually improve industry safety. The third area I'd like to highlight is the success of our five global signature event, events. FEC Las Vegas for Family Entertainment Center operators and the IAPA Leadership Conference in San Francisco provided high-impact learning experiences for our members. Plans are well underway for the 2015 FEC event in Dallas and for the Leadership Conference in Dubai. Turning attention to our expos around the world, all three broke records with sold-out trade show floors. We also experienced record buyer attendance at the shows in Asia and Europe, and the advanced registration here in Orlando is very, very strong. While this success is important on its own, it also funds the products and services that we provide all our members. We've also been busy making plans for the next year, 2015. Paul? That's right, Mario. We already have several programs underway uh, to be implemented next year in 2015. First, we're very focused on professional development and education. Next year, we will introduce an e-learning program that will allow members to take training and professional development courses online. We're piloting a new leadership institute in Europe, and we're rolling out the next phase of the IAPA certification program that allows industry leaders to be formally recognized for their professional development and experience. Our second area of focus is on advocacy and government relations. Look, we hear you loud and clear. You want us to do all we can to assist with increasingly burdensome legislation and regulation around the world. So, we're going to do several things. We're going to further strengthen our relationship with lawmakers to continue to monitor the issues that affect the industry. We're going to alert you to developments that may impact your business and explain our industry's positions and contributions in compelling ways whenever and wherever they're needed. Lastly, we know that you want more industry data and research to guide your decision making. Data is critical to our efforts to better represent the industry to government officials, to the press, and to the public at large. As a result, we're adding resources in these areas, and we will be significantly expanding the scope of the research that we develop for the industry. Now, these are just a few of the highlights for 2015. We have a lot more in store, so please stay in touch so you can take full advantage of all the opportunities IAPA offers and let us know when we can be of assistance.